Jeff Lucas, just outside Addis in Ethiopia with compassion. Overwhelmed. That's probably the best word that I can use to describe how I've been feeling these last few days. Overwhelmed by the huge challenges that this beautiful nation with such wonderful people face. The devastation of the AIDS pandemic and the crippling economy that they struggle with every day. And I came here determined not just to be moved emotionally, but to ask some really difficult questions about what happens on the ground. It is so important that we don't just give our money, but we give our money effectively and efficiently. And as I've visited the various projects that I've seen these last few days, I have to say that I have seen the wonder of lives being transformed every day by the love of Jesus Christ. One of the fantastic things about Compassion is the fact that as an organisation, it is totally committed to work through the local church. What that effectively means is that the gospel is demonstrated, not just proclaimed in word, but also fleshed out in works done in the name of Jesus Christ. Having heard so much about Ethiopia, it was quite a thing to actually visit the country for myself. My wife Kay and I wandered around communities, spent time in people's homes and saw how people really live here. I was struck by the close relationships that obviously exist between compassion projects and the local community. I saw that working through the local church is what enables these relationships of trust, friendship and long-term commitment to be a reality. This close relationship ensures that the work is Christ-centered, sensitive to the local situation and truly effective in reaching out to those in greatest need. One afternoon we visited the home of Saniat, an orphan in one of Compassion's projects. I think her home was the worst I've ever been in, nothing more than a bit of tin, plastic and cardboard. It was two years back when I was eight years old. My mother was so sick uh, by tuberculosis, then she couldn't survive. She passed away, then I ran with my brother to the project workers and I told them they raised their money from their own pocket and they bought the coffin and together with the neighbors they just go and buried her. And not even in the If I would have not been registered in this project I would have probably been on the streets. When I always think to go to the project I feel safe and I feel loved because my tutorial teachers and Sunday school teachers love me and hug me and encourage me. So I always want to go there after classes. Compassion's child sponsorship program is focused on working with children like Saniat, who would otherwise grow up without much hope. At the Compassion project she attends, Saniat gets all her basic needs taken care of, like food, medical care, and the opportunity to go to school. Compassion is committed to working in areas of desperate need across the world. Its work is Christ-centered, child-focused and church-based and has already helped to break the cycle of poverty for 700,000 children in 24 countries around the world. Compassion works with local church partners and fellowships representing more than 65 denominations. But none of this would be possible without your support. For 18 pounds a month, you can reach out to one of these children in need and help them to become a hope for the future. And so I'm here today to ask you to join me in getting behind the work of compassion so that every day, another day tomorrow, more lives can be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs>